A very pleasant day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron de los Reyes. Today, we're coming to you from the beautiful town of Pauai here in Ilocos Norte. And of course, uh, you see in the background the famous St. Augustine Church, one of the icons for the town of Pauai, Ilocos Norte. Of course, we're here adjoining the uh, NP Navara, the new NP Navara test drive. And we just had a fuel economy run and then in a short while we are going to test it on the Pauai Sun Dunes. We'll tell you more about this event later on in the show. In the meantime, let's take a look at the latest in motoring on our auto news update. Topping our story this week, Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation has formally unveiled the all-new Strada at the City of Dreams Casino in Baranaque. It is the first full redesign after nine long years and has finally arrived in our own shores. Conceived around the concept of ultimate sport utility truck, the all-new 2015 Strada promises to combine the interior comfort of a passenger car with the functionality and reliability of a pickup truck. There are other new pickup trucks in the market, but the, what makes this different from the, the other pickup trucks? The Strada has the J-line or the, the curved line at the rear of the cab. It makes it uh, the, the, sh uh, the wheel be shorter uh, and also makes the uh, rear seat a little more reclined. Uh, our Strada has a super select four-wheel drive too, which in, uh, by turning the, the knob, it's uh, drive from uh, two-wheel drive, 4H, 4H uh, lock, or four-wheel drive, uh, low lock. Well, of course, I'd like to invite you to uh, visit uh, NFR Mitsubishi showroom and uh, check out the all-new Mitsubishi Strada. And I invite you to uh, enter uh, the vehicle, check out the seats, and the comfort level that the Strada has to offer. Also headlining our stories is the official turnover of MMPC's leadership. After four prosperous years, outgoing President Hiko Saburo Shibata will step down and transfer the reins to Aihiko Kato. Very happy that uh, you know, Mitsubishi Motor is well accepted for Filipino people and uh, our sales are rapidly increased. When I came here, uh, the yearly sales was uh, 32,000, but now last year, uh, 50,000. And uh, our sales network, we have uh, 48 uh, dealership showroom now. Uh, this is an exceptional, exceptional market for Mitsubishi. So my task is to keep this momentum. But I understand the Philippine market is growing. In other news, Ropali, one of the top local motorcycle dealerships in the country, and Teco, a Taiwanese company developing and manufacturing electric motors, recently held the signing of their partnership agreement to establish Roteco. Roteco, connecting greener mobility, was formed to address challenges in the Philippines and the need for its residents to be more environmental friendly. The joint venture will initiate a change in the Philippine auto scene by offering more practical modes of transportation to the masses through electric vehicles. We think the uh, Philippines is a good starting point for EV because this EV we are not talking about like a Tesla, the uh, passenger car. We are aiming on so-called utility car. Yeah. This is something, you know, this region can afford. Yeah, so we will fully utilize our production site in Subi Bay to do the production. I think we all know about the project of the desire of uh, ADB to take out 100,000 units of tricycles that are uh, powered by internal combustion engines to 
alleviate the effects of uh, the adverse effects of uh, too much emission into the atmosphere. The contract signing is also an opportunity of both firms to give back to the Filipino community and transform systems and practices in making the country greener and environment friendly. In other stories, basketball and volleyball along with road safety activities are the ongoing events today, Saturday, March 21, as the Auto Review Road Safety Olympics tips off at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum in Manila. In cooperation with the Philippine Sports Commission, participants mix it up in the whole day of activities featuring road safety stakeholders from the government and private sectors. Aside from the ball games, cheerleading exhibitions and road safety slogan chants are being performed by UAAP and NCAA schools and other groups in line with the theme Road Safety, Everybody's Responsibility. Also in support of the United Nations initiated Decade of Action for Road Safety from 2011 to 2020. Meanwhile, in the recent PSA awards attended by Auto Review, famous athletes in different fields were able to share their own road safety tips. Hi, I'm Alaysha Valdez from the Ateneo Lady Eagles. My safety tip for you guys is don't text while driving. Don't check your phone and focus on the road. So if you want to save your life, uh, do this one very, very simple rule. Never beat the red light. Hi, this is Vince on reminding you to buckle up for safety and don't drive on the sidewalks. Don't drive and drink at the same time and uh, please, don't use your cell phones while driving. Uh, this is Bobby Jaworski. Buckle up. The hardest thing for me not to do, and I really fight myself and everybody should do it, don't text and drive. And so goes our auto news update. Auto review will be back with more. Stay with us. Last week, we gave you a glimpse of our drive to discover trip to Ilocos Norte with the NP300 Nisa Navara. Now we'll tell you more about our adventure up north using Nissan's newest pickup truck. Nissan Philippines Incorporated or NPI flew in a 72-man media group to Lawag City from Manila for the three-day trip which would take them to the famous Bangui wind farm and back to Lawag via a fuel economy run and a challenging drive to the treacherous San Junes of Ilocos Norte. Mm. 
The event kicked off with a fuel economy run for the participants to get a feel of the Navara's fuel efficiency. Our team was assigned the 4x4 manual variant, while the rest did the 4x4 automatic and the 4x2 manual and automatic. We drove through the mostly flat roads from Lawag to Pasukin town, took on the zigzags of Burgos and Bangui, and after the five-minute series of fuel top-up, our official average was 22.9 kilometers per liter, which was good for a first-place finish in our category. The other winners also posted impressive figures, which proved that the new engine for the 12th generation Nissan pickup is more fuel efficient. Then we proceeded to the sand dunes of La Paz town, just less than 10 kilometers from Lawan. It is different from the famous Pawai sand dunes, as there are more hills, wider sand dunes, and the sand seems to be softer. The sand dunes of La Paz is part of the 240 hectare wide sand dunes of Ilocos Norte, and going there gives one a taste of a desert. The off-road course is laid out by veteran rally driver Robbie Hermoso and his team from the local 4x4 club. And at first, the drive looked intimidating. After the tour around the approximately 1.5 kilometer course, we became passengers before trying the course using the top-of-the-line 4x4 automatic transmission NP300 Navara. With the right mix of speed and torque, we survived the initial drive which subjected the Navara to long descents, sharp uphill curb, narrow ridge and a sand wall. For the 45 degree downhill drop, it was a thrill to use the truck's HDC or Hill Descent Control which allows the system to control the vehicle's descent automatically and safely and all the driver needs to do is handle the steering wheel. All right, now we're going to try the hill descent control. We're just going to press this button over here and then let the system control the descent of uh, the truck. So we release the brakes. We, we are not also uh, stepping on the accelerator. So we're just uh, minding the steering just to give the car a direction. So this is very good that uh, the hill descent control system just operates uh, the descent of the vehicle. So it determines when it has to put on the brakes or control, then we're okay. Then I disengage it now so that uh, we can go much faster on the more flat uh, surface of uh, this off-road track. All this time, we kept the 4x4 in 4 high mode to allow for faster drives on straighter but soft portions of the course. The new NP300 Navara looks sportier and better compared to the previous model, but it was not just built for aesthetics, as proven in this top, most unforgiving terrain challenge. Underneath is a full-length, fully boxed ladder frame which adds torsional stiffness and enhances the truck's durability. Its ride, even with the uneven sand trail, was comfortable thanks to the rigid 5-link coil suspension armed with stabilizer bars to ensure smooth, effortless and comfortable ride. The Navarre's new generation powertrain, the 2.5-liter DOHC inline four-cylinder variable geometry system, or BGS diesel, releases 190 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque for the 4x4 variant and 163 horsepower and 403 newton meters of torque for the 4x2. After the 4x4 drive, we even found time to try sandboarding which is also one of the attractions of the sand dunes. Toti Zara, president of NPI, tells us more about the drive and the capabilities of the NP300 Navara. 
I, I think the numbers we are getting proves na the, the new NP300 Navara is top notch in terms of fuel efficiency. That speaks well about our new engine, speaks well about our 7 speed automatic transmission, the 6 speed manual transmission, and all the other features that we put into the pickup that led to such a performance in terms of fuel economy. Now, w what really differentiated, I think, the Navara was driving through the, the, the highways here in Ilocos Norte, and everyone was talking about the ride, the comfort of, of a pickup. They didn't feel it was, they were right a pickup. We have a multi-link suspension in the NP300 Navara, which really makes a difference where now you have still the payload capacity of a pickup, but uh, riding comfort very close to a sedan or an SUV. Our colleagues in the motoring beat also shared with us their experience with Nissan's new pickup truck. Definitely we love the efficiency of the car, the fuel efficiency. We were amazed that it can do more than 23 kilometers per liter. And I think uh, you know the best thing is that it has power when you need it. So I can boast of the, the, the seats at the back. Uh, the lumbar, uh, it's, so, it's so back friendly. It has this lumbar thingy at the back. It <laughs> makes you really, really, really comfortable. And you know, I don't really mind long trips about riding with the Navara. It, it's amazing. Uh, we've, we've tried the other trucks uh, in the market, but we have never seen a truck perform this way. The, the steering wheel is uh, so, so easy to maneuver. Very, very relaxed, you know. With the 4x4 NP300 Navara's off-road capability, it was a case of the truck taming the wild sand dunes of the north giving participants the opportunity to discover new places and at the same time familiarize themselves with the new product offerings from NPI. What's new portion? Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated or HCPI has launched the all new 2015 Honda Odyssey. The new generation Odyssey introduced at Juan Esplanade in Pasay City is a smaller and more compact version specifically made by Honda for its Japanese and Asian markets. It now has an exterior length of 322 millimeters, width of 191 millimeters and a wheelbase of 2,900 millimeters while still having enough room for passengers. The car's interior has a modern suite room concept, making full use of premium materials such as leather and quality accents to generate a comfortable cabin. The Odyssey seats seven in three rows, two for the first, two in the second or captain cradle seats, and three in the third row. The elegant and dynamically proportioned van also has advanced details like the LED projector headlamps and taillights. 
It is also one of the first cars to have the Earth Dreams technology, a next-generation advancement that enhances the engine to greatly improve both fuel efficiency and driving performance along with the Echo Assist system. See, uh, the all-new Odyssey features a lot of new smart technologies. So this includes the multi-view camera, which uh, has four cameras all around the vehicle. So it has cameras in the front, the door mirrors, and at the tailgate of the vehicle. Uh, this will give a synthesized image of a view surrounding the vehicle. It also ha features a smart parking assist system, which basically assists the driver in back-in and parallel parking. The new Honda Odyssey has an introductory price of 2,298,000 pesos. I direct to uh, invite all of the you know, viewers to the Honda showroom to watch this car and to feel this car and touch this car. Uh, this is, I think, uh, we are confident that this is the best minivan in the Philippines. And uh, also please visit www.hondafield.com to check this, uh, check this car and other Honda vehicles out. Toyota Motor Philippines has announced that the company's retail sales last February 2015 increased by 28% as compared with the same period of last year. TMP registered a total of 8,870 units sold last month, which marks the company's highest February sales to date. The positive sales performance of TMP was driven by the BIOS, with a total of 2,012 units sold. The company's February sales were further reinforced by the Fortuner, Innova, Wigo, Hilux, Avanza, and Corolla Altis. Toyota is convinced that the brand's positive sales is due to the market's positive outlook. TMP promises to provide more quality vehicles and excellent service in maintaining their leadership in the Philippine automotive market. <laughs> 